everyone, Janice Journal here. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because when I started out making 3D models and using Blender, I was just so overwhelmed. As someone who has never touched any softwares or programs for 3D modeling before, or any programs in general, I was just so confused at first as to how to even get started making something in Blender. I totally believe that with just a little bit of foundations and you know how to use and go around Blender and you learn the interfaces, this is something that even a beginner Blender user can make. So doing a little walkthrough on how I made this, this is not an in-depth tutorial, but more so a breakdown on the workflow and my approach to it. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of the approach and the process when it comes to making a Blender scene in Blender. So let's get started. So when it comes to any big Blender project, I have it broken down into six major parts and this one is no exception. So starting off with part one, I always start off by modeling the body. And so when I start off looking at any big scene and there's a lot of moving pieces, you just want to start with the main one. I'm starting off with making the Yakult body. So in Blender, you only really need to know how to model using two things, a cube and the subdivision modifier. And once you know how to use those two in conjunction, I think you can pretty much model anything. Granted, there are other tools and modifiers you use along the way to make more complex models, but for something just basic like this Yakult model, I really don't think you need a lot. So I'm blocking out a lot of my other shapes once I have just the main body here. And like I did to the Yakult body, I'm doing the same thing for all these other models. So the little crates, or the stool or anything else, I'm really just using a cube and then adding a bevel or a subdivision modifier just to give it specific ridges or shapes that I am putting into the scene. Don't even make it too complicated or try to make the final object as you go. Just block everything out by adding in spheres, cubes, anything that you need to add to just tell you this is where something is going to go later. I'm also using a Boolean modifier to carve out that room inside of the Yakult body just so that there's like a little bit of space and now I'm kind of like starting to see the whole thing come together. Now I'm starting to add some more shapes and details to all of my objects, making the windows a little bit more specific. And now I'm moving on to part three, which is adding texture. For the wood, I use geometry nodes. It's a lot easier than trying to add from an image, which is what I used to do, but now we've kind of evolved from that. And then for some of the others, I just use a blender add-on for the concrete since it's just being used for the stairs. So giving my stairs just a easy, simple concrete texture. Now let's move on to the texture painting. So the texture painting actually took me a couple of tries. First time I tried, I did not do well because I was getting confused, but I referred back to a couple of tutorials. There's a really good one by Grant Abbott on this hammer that he made. So if you're ever confused, just refer back to that one, even if you know absolutely nothing about texture painting. That is my lifesaver for texture painting. I'm going ahead, unwrapping everything and making sure that we have a texture to actually paint on so it's not pink. And I'm going in and adding some outlines and outlining the edges as if it's a 2D illustration. I'm adding some manual shading to the Yakult bottle as well, just to give it more depth and contrast, which can't really be done through light without it being awkward. So I think adding that manual shading was a really nice touch just to give it that extra detail. This is when you can have a little bit of fun with Blender, just because I'm going in and writing in Yakult with my mouse on my PC. Wasn't the easiest, but was super cute, and I loved having a little bit of fun and experimenting and adding some of my own personal accents and touches to the model. Now let's move on to part five, which is the props, adding the poster sign for the display and just did it in Comic Sans because it was really cute. So going ahead and adding that to the sign. Now I'm adding the Yakult bottles. I saved the model earlier before we carved out the room, creating an array modifier of those so that there's a collection of them and adding them to the same collection. And I'm also adding some of these Ivy Leagues or Ivy Leaves. <laughs> now I'm adding some Ivy Leaves to the Yakult bottle and there's a really good tutorial on how to create hair using a bezier path and a circle. And so using that tutorial, I actually just made the ivies. I turned the bezier path into a mesh and then added a particle system to generate the leaves as a hair so that all the 
leaves are generated onto the ivy and so they're just there and you don't have to manually put them in one by one. And now I'm adding in some small creatures, uh, these little helper animals I guess for running the Yakult stand just so that there is some life to the picture and the environment. And now I'm setting up my camera. So normally I do perspective camera, but I went in and changed it to orthographic. So it has that like isometric look to it. And I really liked it because I normally don't do the isometric type of renders, but this one was pretty new for me and I really like how it came out. And now the last part is just adding the lighting and the render. So this is just adding in multiple points of light sources to give that scene the nice sunset-ish look. I really like warm tones for my render, so I'm adding a sun and then I'm adding a few points, which I'm going to turn to a more orangish tint so that it kind of has like that morning glow to it. I'm also adding a light source inside of the room and also under the Yakult bottle, which I think adds a really nice contrast and glow to the render. And after making those final adjustments, my render is done. And that was how I made this little Yakult local shop. I think it's so cute and it was super fun to make. So I think as a beginner, even with just knowing a few couple of key blender add-ons or blender modifiers and tools, you can completely create a really cool and interesting scene. Um, it might take you some time at first, but if I did this when I was completely starting out, it definitely would have taken me much longer. But now that I'm doing it, knowing all the fundamentals, it took me around four hours, which honestly isn't bad for such a big complex scene like this. And yeah, that is how I made this Yakult bottle. So hopefully that gives you some insight into the Blender workflow and hopefully you're inspired to go try to make something yourself. Doesn't have to be this big, but starting off with something small is always a really good step in the right direction. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.